Hey friend, it has been a long time since I have gone live here and it's time. It is time we get back at it. There is a lot of negativity around and I had learned something the other day that I wanted to share with you. And the human mind has a natural tendency to give more attention and to remember negative experiences or interactions more than positive ones. And psychologists refer to this as negative bias. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. It was the first time I've actually heard that term. Our brains will handle the negative and positive information in different hemispheres of our brain. And the negative emotions usually involve more thinking, more processing, right? We spend more time on them than the positive ones. So negative emotions and feedback and impressions have more impact. So think about this, like if the last time you were shopping, maybe you do some online shopping and you're making a big purchase and you're looking at the reviews and there's a bazillion reviews, positive ones, but you see two negative reviews and then you decide not to purchase that product based on the two negative reviews instead of the gazillion positive reviews, right? Or maybe a coworker shares a little TMI at work and, and maybe she's like a newer coworker, right? You don't really know her and she's sharing a little bit too much information and it, it sets you back a little bit and you decide not to to avoid her or you know not to try to limit your contact with her just based on one experience maybe she was nervous it was her first day or something right or one th one little minute thing but yet in your mind you play it over and over and over again where you're getting angry and upset and all because just one little thing that they, she said, she or he said, and that was it. But now it's stuck in your head. There's numerous examples of this like negative bias and how it affects us. Now, chances are you probably know somebody who always tends to see the bright side of things, right? And how do we do this if we're prone to the negative, right? Because scientists said this is like we're prone to it. Like we're just wired for it. Well, the key is to be aware, be aware that it's happening and to focus on the positive. So the good news is being aware is the first step. And I just told you about it. If you didn't know about it, I just learned about it. So I'm sharing it with you, right? So, hey, we got step number one is being aware because that's going to help us to lead us to more positive thinking. Experts say, consider your thinking habits by paying attention to them, right? So maybe over the next few days, you spend some time and pay attention to the thoughts that you're having in your mind. Now, I've recently been working on this because I'm in the process of taking a mindfulness course. And it's quite amazing when you stop and you actually think about what you're thinking about. I know it sounds weird, but kind of monitor your thoughts for the next few days. Like, what are you thinking? Are you having repetitive thoughts? Just, just observe them. No judgment. No judgment, you're gonna give yourself grace, okay? We're not gonna, we're not gonna like beat ourselves up because of the thoughts we're having. This is just an observational experiment, okay? Now, the problem is not that we're having negative thoughts, but the problem is we believe they're true. So when you begin to look at these thoughts objectively, it might help to label them. So I've got a few questions. So this is what you're gonna do, okay? So for the first few days, you're just gonna monitor your thoughts and notice what kind of thoughts, maybe write them down, jot them in a notebook or put them in the note feature in your phone. Just take notice of what thoughts you're having. And then when you start having these thoughts again, I want you to ask yourself some questions. So like that example I used, um, 
your bro boss brings up one thing that maybe you did wrong or one thing she wants you to tweak at work, right? And so maybe you're like, oh, she she doesn't like my work. She doesn't like anything I do. She doesn't, you know, whatever. Whatever the, those thoughts come up, right? Ask yourself these questions. Number one, is it true? Number two, are these thoughts helpful? Are these thoughts I'm having helpful? Number three, are these thoughts important? Number four, does this serve me? Because what's going to happen is as you're going through your day and so you get in that monkey mind or those thoughts come in from one, maybe one piece of news that you read or one encounter that you had and one thing happened, but your mind starts creating all these other scenarios. And you're going to ask yourself, well, what are you thinking? Like the boss scenario, right? Maybe you're like, my boss hates me. Is it true? No, probably not. Your boss doesn't hate you. She just asked you to do something different or, you know, change something, right? Uh, are these thoughts helpful? Well, no, it's not helpful if I'm going to go to work and think my boss hates me. How is that helpful? Number three, are these thoughts important? No, it's not. These thoughts are important because they're not really true. <laughs> they're not helpful. And then the last one, does this thought serve me? No, because what? why am I going to, my thoughts are going to, oh, my boss hates me. I can't do a good job at work. All because of one piece of, of constructive cr criticism or something that she had asked me to do, right? So those are powerful thoughts. So again, it's, is this true? Are these thoughts helpful? Are these thoughts important? Does that does this thought serve me? Okay? So, I'm going to tell you for when you start doing this, you're going to you're going to immediately think that you're nuts, right? You're going to be like I'm freaking nuts. I'm crazy. I can't believe this. That's normal. <laughs> And believe me, you are not any more crazier than the guy next to you. However, you're a little bit more enlightened because you are now paying attention to your thoughts and you have confronted the situation in your mind where your other crazy friend hasn't. So as you do this, you are going to feel like you're, you're a little nuts. But I'm telling you, this is how we can create more mindfulness. This is how we can start controlling our thoughts. And after you've spent some time observing your thoughts and you've done the process where you're asking yourself the questions, right? Get into that habit. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start retraining the membrane to be more happier and positive, right? Does that sound good? So consciously focusing and experiencing positive situations more thoroughly, it actually, when you do that, it actually helps build neural, new neuro, neural structures in your brain. And so what you're going to do is when you experience something that is pleasant or makes you happy or brings you joy, linger on it for like five seconds or as long as you can. Because what happens is they did the study, like people will see a newspaper and you, it says, hey, it's going to be a beautiful sunshiny day. And you might see a guy at the newsstand and you might both nod at each other. But the newspaper could say, hey, we're going to get 400 feet of snow and you better, you know, stock up on your milk, bread and whatever. You're going to talk because it's a, ne it's a negative situation, right? Because our brains are are wired for that negative bias, you're going to spend more time probably talking to that person at the newsstand about, oh my gosh, you know, the storm, da, 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 right? So that's why you're going to, when you have a positive experience or that happiness or joy, you're going to consciously, it, you're going to feel it and you're going to hold on to it and you're going to stay with that for at least five seconds, if not longer. Try to hold on to that, right? Because we're going to retrain our brain to enjoy and want those positive, joyful experiences instead of the negative. Does that make sense? Now, negative negativity bias is normal, but if you want to develop a more positive mindset, a more positive view, and start seeing things more on the bright side, then start with a little self-analysis and then some conscious brain retraining. So I hope 
that you found value. And I want to know if you try this, send me a message and let me know uh, how it worked for you because I would love, I'd love to hear your experiences. So have a great night. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll talk to you soon.